Mix down in live is pretty easy. Um, this track is just dead headed right up to bar one. In that case, what I would do is just get a little bit of space here. See, I did command A and I selected everything and just moved it up one bar. And the reason we pulled it out away from the very beginning is oftentimes there's um, certain third party plugins can glitch right here on the startup. So at this point, um, I would get up here and, you know, just move a little bit off. Now we have a grid. So what I do to defeat the grid, remember, is just hold command key. So there's my mark. And I can just select my area that I want to mix down. All right, so I have my selection and let's do a little um, file export audio. You notice there's video in there too. I'll deal with that very at the very end. Okay, for now, we just want a stereo mix down. We leave that as master. The normalize is basically takes the hottest section of your wave file and then optimizes the rest upwards to get maximum possible headroom. Back in the day, that used to really wreck tracks, and I never used that. Anyway, render as loop has to do with um, if I'm outputting a bunch of these separates because I want to clip them for another session or I want to pass them over to another DJ as elements or whatever. If I had on this turquoise file a delay that hung over on one of my returns, if I have render as loop off, uh, live will just take that selection and then chop it. So all the, you know, reverb tails would be deleted. If I have render as loop, then live takes that into account and tries its best to create loops that have f nice fade outs, natural fade outs in terms of effects tails, reverb tails. Got it. Um, I have my choice of wave or AIFF. I switched to wave sometime back. Um, I think it's going to be a more robust file format going forward. Convert to mono. Um, not a bad way to to double check your mixes, actually. Do a mono, bounce down and play it in the car, whatever. Sample rates are hardware dependent, of course, and my I have a symphony card on this, so I could bust it all the way up to 192 if I wanted. Um, bit depth right here, of course. If I make a 32-bit mix down, thinking that I'm going to be Mr. High Fidelity, you won't be able to import that or listen to that on a iTunes or whatever. This is simply for going between applications, 32-bit files, and a lot of um, big DAWs don't import 32-bit, so have that in mind. Dither, dither has to do with noise shaping, and this is another topic. Google this before you put on any of these. Um, if it sounds good, it is good. An analysis file, of course, is just having live, say, analyze audio, but it, we can do that anyway, easily. The video we'll look at, I can do my little mix, and off she goes, I'll you know, hit it. One last thing, if I were to do what's called stimming, stimming is, say that somebody wanted to do a remix of this little track, and they said, give me stims. You know, if I take this file here, select it, bounce it out, you know, just like this. And that's what audio nine, and I did something like that. That's, that's going to suck because what's, what'll happen is that this guy's going to think that that's at the head of the, how's he going to know that lands at bar 29 is what I'm getting at. Stimming involves this where every bar, every um, track begins deadheaded at one location. If you're working with a video editor, um, this is the bomb proof way to sync with picture as well. Just say, hey, I'll stim that track for you. If they want effects or you want them to have effects, then you would have to bounce each one of these out. If I do file export on audio 12, just like this, as audio 12, what's gonna happen? I'm going to get audio 12 before the mixer, before the effects, before the master compression, before all of it. 
So I'm just going to get the this naked truth right there. So in this respect, what you want to do is put this out to master and then solo up and render your tracks one at a time like that. That would be with effects. And theoretically, um, you could delete all these tracks and then save file, export all tracks. And theoretically, that's going to give you a bounce of all these tracks. I have not done this because I just don't like doing it that way. But what I suspect would happen here is that you would just get renders of all these, but none of the effects.